It's on, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, a bunch of you guys have asked how we sell jewelry on Facebook, and I'm going to go through step by step. So this might be kind of long, 20, 30 minutes of how I, how I do it. Now, everybody does it differently. I just want to show you my technique that I think works well. So um, are you able to see if people comment on there? Does it show you on the side or anything? I don't know. Not so far. Okay. Oh, there's a button. Show live. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It Tell me fine. if anybody gets on or if they have questions. Okay. All right. All right. So we're just going to start. So <clears throat> the goal of this is to sell jewelry. We're trying to replace the home party, and the home party is kind of, it's just not as cool as it used to be. They're still really fun, and I love doing them. So if you guys ever want to do one, tell me. But in reality, a lot of people are too busy or they don't want to like like clean their house for people to come over. So we've been finding a solution by selling jewelry online. And what happens is a lot of you guys get to sit at home and relax and scroll through your Facebook and maybe you'll pop on and watch some of our goodies. And what's fun is everything we have is different. We have thousands and thousands and thousands of designs. So it's kind of fun just to see what there is like I even watch girls sell it and I sell it why it's just kind of fun to see what what's gonna pop up next it's kind of like Christmas so what I'm gonna do is show you like my system and maybe you guys can learn from me especially if you're already selling paparazzi and if you're on my team and you've asked for help I'll show you what I like to do um, this is not required this is like my paparazzi area in my house do you want to show them and I wanted to be real, so I didn't clean it first. <laughs> it's just what it is. We are getting comments, by the way. Oh, cool. Tell me if anybody says hi. Well, any questions? Okay. I'll read them later, though. We have Norma and Rachel. All right. So, so and I'll explain what all this is, too. All right, I'll explain what all this is as we go through this. And if they have questions about what I'm teaching, then then that's what you need to tell me. Okay. okay, so, and the reason my husband's holding this up is because they're, we're just gonna be going all over the place, so I can show you. So, the first thing I need to do is order jewelry and have it coming to my house, okay? So, if you don't know how to order jewelry um, from paparazzi, you have to be a rep. If you wanna be a rep, call me and let me know and I'll help you sign up. If you are already a rep, I have a video called How to Order Wholesale Jewelry and it, it tells you like what to click if you don't know how. So then they're at the company making, getting the jewelry ready and packaging it. So on your planning time, you want to make sure you have some of the right equipment, okay? So here's the minimum you can get away with. You need a cell phone that does video. And so it's gonna be a smartphone, okay? You, it has to be a smartphone because you're gonna be in the Facebook app I have tested using my brand new laptop that I just got and my phone and the laptop quality, ugh, not good. I wouldn't use it. Um, so don't even think you need a laptop, okay? What I do like to do though is have my laptop open in front of me like this and then the video, I'll show you my tripod, the video's hit, sitting here going and then that way I can share my video. Sometimes people will PM me and I can answer their questions. I try not to do it too much because it'll take away from my interaction, but I like having my computer here with me because I'm totally a computer girl. So let me show you guys the tripod I use. Um, where did I put it? It's not on the kitchen table. I, okay. I think you might need to go get it. All right, you can just show them some stuff. <laughs> all right. Um, all right, oh, so I'll, oh yeah, she's getting it. Uh, when she does the video, when she sells, uh, maybe I'm jumping ahead though, but I usually sit right there. <laughs> <laughs> and I load up the stuff in the uh, here. Here are the orders. I load up <laughs> the orders. I'll show them that too. Yeah, in more detail. Ah, oh, she's back. Okay. <laughs> Shoo. So good thing I didn't have to talk long. I know, right? Okay, this is from me taking pictures the other day, which I'll explain that too. Um, I do have a video on how to take your own pictures of the jewelry. That it's sufficient. I'm not a photographer or anything, but it works. Um. Anybody have any questions yet or anything? Um, some folks have said hi. You have 11 viewers right now. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so you need a tripod. Now, 
I have before gotten a chair and used rubber bands and like string and made my phone stay. So you don't have to buy a tripod. If you get your jewelry and you want to go, go for it. But it would be smart to get a tripod when you can. And you have to buy this contraption right here. It's a cell phone holder. It screws on and off of the standard tripod screw size. And you can get these. Sometimes Dollar Tree has them hooked to a selfie stick. But you have to make sure it's big enough for your phone. Mine's barely big enough. I have an S7 Edge. So if you have like an 8, you might need to make sure you get one. Like take your phone with you and make sure it fits. But you can order these on Amazon or wherever. Now it came with this. I actually, my friend bought me this and it was 10 bucks. So it was this little tiny tripod with this thingy. And, um, and it works okay, but it's not very tall and you're going to look better. This is just a trick. You're going to look better if your video comes down a little. So why don't you raise that a little bit? I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if your video is coming down on you a little, it just looks better. It like makes you more attractive on camera. That's where you lose your 10 pounds instead of gain your 10 pounds. So, um, <clears throat> so a tall tripod is better. A lot of people have these that they got with camcorders for free, like in the 90s. A lot of people have these at yard sales, so watch for them. What I like to do is I'll open it up and then I raise one leg like this so that it points when you stand, yeah. When you stand it up, it kind of tips forward. And then I put my camera right here. Okay, I, I guess I have to turn it like this. Okay, do you have your camera in your, oh, I'll use my case. So pretend this is my phone. Okay. So I put it in here and then, and then my, phone is pointing down just a little at my face. Does that all make sense? So for me, this works really well on my table and I just, I put it right here actually. So maybe I will set it here just to kind of show you guys. Yeah, so. <clears throat> it actually goes here and I always worry that it's gonna slide right <laughs> off the table. I don't touch the camera <laughs> once it's going. So this will probably break my case. So we'll just remember that the phone will be right you here. put my phone in there just to put the table okay. in there. I mean, I don't think you get the idea, but go ahead. Yeah, it's kind of nice to see a visual. Your phone's too big. Oh, damn. <laughs> you got it, though. Or I can put the case in it. There. Okay, cool. my pretend phone right there. So, it's going to point toward me. Now, one thing I learned that is cool is the videos are, on an iPhone, you can tip it horizontal. And that's like a bonus. But if you're stuck with an Android like me, you have to have a vertical view. So you're going to have a whole bunch of dead space above your head. So if you look up there, I put a little sign up there, $5 accessories. You could put other stuff like every Tuesday and Thursday. Or you could put like share to win this piece of jewelry. Use that space. Don't waste it because it's free advertising for you. Yeah, there's so, a lot of that when you do that. Yeah. yeah. So when people um, flip through Facebook, they won't, they'll like kind of know what it is because you can tell them in the whatever dead space is behind you. So use that dead space. Okay, so that's your equipment so far is your tripod and your phone. And the next thing you need is, of course, we talked about your jewelry. You're going to need numbers. I have a file. I'll need to put the link in the video later, but I have a file with numbers that are frontwards or backwards. If you have, like I said, if you have an iPhone, you can flip your camera. It has lots of features. So you can just print normal numbers. But if you have an Android, you can't flip your camera. So my numbers are all backwards on purpose because on the video they show normal. And I like to have paper clips available too. And I'll, I'll show you more in a minute. So you want to make sure you have your numbers printed. I have 200 of them and I never use them in order. It's mostly just for me to reference whatever people are claiming from the last couple minutes is it. I don't rewatch my videos. That's a preference I have, so I don't need to do them in order. Um, I can explain that too later if you decide to rewatch your videos. Okay, so um, the other thing you need that I like to use is Ziploc baggies. I have a million of them, and I'll show you why. And then I also have a whole bunch of envelopes to help package our jewelry during the sale. Now, I was doing the sales alone up until last week so it's totally possible to do this alone you don't have to make your family help you if they do it's convenient and quicker 
but you can do this alone if you need to. Not a big deal. So I'll show you what I do. Um, any questions yet? Are we good? No, we've got folks saying hi. Okay. Neat. That's fun. I wish I could see. I kind of missed that. That's part of the fun of the Facebook Live. Okay, so here is a perfect example. This is an order. Let me think if that's all the equipment. Oh, the other thing you need is maybe some empty paparazzi boxes to hold some of your stuff. And I'll show you what I do. So here are, is the step. I ordered the jewelry and now I got the jewelry. Oh no, we got to talk about lights. One yeah, more okay. part of equipment. Okay. All right. You don't so, have to have these lights though. Well, them. you need good lights though, because yeah. if you don't have good lights, it's just not going to be pretty enough for your jewelry. You have to have good lights. So there's lots of modifications. Our kitchen lights have the, um, what are they called? halogen lights in them the new Maybe light bulbs they are. oh led they're led are they led i think they are i thought they were those spiral ones i don't know but i think there's them. oh use them for i the did yeah okay oh, okay yeah, yeah. whatever those new light bulbs are called that are spiral oh then they are halogen. they're halogen those are bright and so if you have a room with halogen lights in it it's probably going to be okay and you can ask your friends how it looks and see if they can see your jewelry okay so that's your first backup free plan is to just do the room in your house that might have halogen lights. And our kitchen is pretty bright even at night. So I did it in there for quite a while. Now, if oh, you, that's right. you did remember, yeah, yeah. so, and I didn't need extra lights. If you are in a room, which a lot of you guys are, because you got to make, let your kids go to sleep and you're going to close the door and do your videos and work, then you need lighting, special lighting. These are called Lumo Studio. Um, soft box photographer kit i have two i did they're identical from each other limo studio. yeah limo studio and um show them the inside how it's foil if you oh there we go <laughs> do you want me to help you <laughs> all right i'll just turn around here yeah do you want okay to... yeah i'll show you so all this is is tin foil like foil so it's reflective you can actually find Hi, you can find on Pinterest how to make these. You can use a cardboard box, put tin foil and a pillowcase over it. But um, the whole trick is the the light bulb in there. Yeah. So if you look on Amazon under Limo Studio Lighting Kit, see what the light bulb wattage is. And you can buy that light bulb for like eight bucks at Lowe's and then make your own if you can't afford it. If you can't afford it, it's awesome. I love mine, so. Awesome, here. <laughs> this uh, drop a little bit um it's okay right. <laughs> <laughs> okay you also need a good chair this was my gift once i had my biggest sale because i was really excited and i decided this is a full-time permanent doing so you i got a cool chair. chair you can use any chair you can <laughs> i would say stand up and do it if you want but my mine are three hours long and so i like to sit down um, so a trick on the lighting is you don't want your jewelry to get washed out. So when you have a big light like that, don't have it like three feet from you. You need to kind of put it far away so it lights up the room. And another trick is, and you don't have to have two of them. I just happen to have two of them. Another trick is that bright light will reflect off the ceiling in a small room. So see how that is pointing toward the ceiling? This room's kind of big, so it's not totally really doing that much but if you're in a bedroom you can get a bright light and take the lampshade off so it goes up to the ceiling or point it if it's like that and it will make the whole room brighter instead of having a glare at you does that make sense yeah. okay uh, mm. photographers do that too they'll point the flash toward the ceiling and it helps brighten up the whole room instead of just your face so Okay, so that's all the equipment that you like totally need that I use if you like my style. Okay, so you get your order in the mail. Yay, check your order, make sure everything's there. And then what, what I like to do is pre-open my jewelry. I didn't used to do this and all my customers were like, please, that plastic is driving me crazy. So yeah. <laughs> I started <laughs> opening it and it's, it's pretty neat. So I'll show you how I do it. Um, this might be longer than 20 minutes because I'm saying a lot. So. Oh, dang. <laughs> okay. The trick to selling a lot of jewelry on Facebook Live, drum roll, please. 
<laughs> is multiples. Buy a lot of each item because you only have to describe it once and you can maybe sell it to three, four, five, 10, 15 people. It's cool. And it's gonna take a little while to build up your audience, but I've been doing that. So I used to buy like two of everything and now I buy like five and a few I started buying 10 of everything because I know my audience has built up a little bit bigger. So plan ahead and the stuff that you think is really cute, everybody's probably gonna think is really cute. It doesn't mean not to buy your onesie twosies of miscellaneous stuff, still do that, but also buy multiples. So what I do is I have right here, I have five of the same necklace. So here's how I do it. When I'm planning for my show, I open the jewelry. And if you're new to paparazzi, make sure you take this staple out so you don't snag your necklace. So I just go like that and make sure the staple is out. By the way, this is for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so come here on Tuesday and you can, you can maybe buy one. Anyway, so here's the necklace. And then I get my baggie. And I reuse baggies all the time because it's this is not a permanent thing. This is to prepare for the show. So what I do is I get my baggie and I put my extra pieces in here that are not unwrapped. These are all the duplicate. And then I I like to just repackage back in here because because the recycle, you know. So I reuse the um, packaging. So I just fold it up like this. Here's a question. Sure. One was, your part, your live parties are three hours long? <laughs> I'll tell them why, too. <laughs> um, but then there was, a, I think that was more like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. And then there's another one is, do you write the name of the item on the back of the tag? Oh, okay. I'll see. answer both of those. Do you write, yeah, do you write the name on the back of the tag? Okay. Okay. I'll answer both of those. Let me show you this real quick. So then I get the piece of jewelry, and I put it in the bag so that it's ready for me to pull out. If it's a necklace that I think is gonna tangle, I just kinda hook it on the edge of the plastic so that it's not all the way down. So just one? Just one is that's, open, that's, that's all you need. That's the one you're gonna show. Yep, okay. yep. So this is ready, and now I'm gonna get an empty box and start piling up all my stuff. Okay, does that mm -hmm. make sense? So do I write the name on it? No, I quit doing names. Names are cute and fun, and I'm glad for those who like it, but my opinion is there is time better spent on other things. So I don't do the name anymore. I used to. Sometimes I'll read it if it's sitting here in front of me on the other package. It's kind of fun. But I don't look up stock photos anymore, so I don't need the name. I take my own pictures. So I'll explain that to you guys. Um, and if I ever have to look back on a thing, I can maybe find it in my past orders because we have that access for us. All right, let me package one more thing real quick and just show you. Um, Here's a single item. I still pre-open single items. So this is a cute bracelet. Oh, there was another question. I have the three hours, I'll address that. So I get the baggie. I put the bracelet in there and the package in there. Okay, this goes in there too. So everything, and like everything, like 100 different items, if I can. I have a lot of inventory, so I'll mix up my new stuff with my old stuff the customers don't know I'm just presenting things one other cool trick is I don't know where it is but if you have a set I've been selling sets together and it's great the customer loves it because they're ready to go and I love it because it's helping me upsell more than one thing and it's helping me like sell a bracelet that isn't as cute unless it's with its partner necklace for example so I will um, I'll just like kind of show you is like let's say this necklace I just did matches this bracelet I'll open them both I'll put both packages in the bag and then when I show the video I hold them both up and I say this is a set you have to buy them together so it's ten dollars so sets are pretty cool um, sometimes if the set doesn't sell then I'll split it up on my photo album or vice versa I won't sell it together on the video and then I may pair up sets on my photo album. Okay, so that's how I prepackage it. Now, the three hour thing, I would rather, I go live twice a week. I would rather go live twice a week for a long time and not go live for like a half hour every day. 
because I don't want to think, oh, I have to do that tonight. Oh, I have to do that tonight. I just want to have a schedule, like a regular job. So I would even go live once a week for three hours if I knew that I could sell everything in one smack. But I don't yet. I'm hoping to build up to that. So, And I do three hours because, as far as we know, Facebook favors long videos. So the longer you're on there, the more people's feed you're going to show up on. So, interesting, huh? Hopefully it just gives people time to drop in. Oh, yeah. People come and go. It's not like anybody's going to sit there the whole time. Okay, so that's how I prepare the jewelry. Um, then how I prepare for customers is I have a box. <clears throat> Any paparazzi box. <clears throat> and where's my new envelopes there was a question about sure. not having a room to do this and so she's got to take down and set up everything in order to, to get it going you yeah tell her about the kitchen yeah the, i had that i still have that problem we are just using the end of my living room um i was doing it in my kitchen so i'd have to take down and set up so all i would take in my kitchen, kitchen was <laughs> those five pieces of equipment and my box of jewelry and my box for my customers you don't need anything else. So you just need your jewelry and your box for your customers and the, you know, your tripod and phone and stuff. So, I mean, you do have to have all that stuff, but it's worth it totally. Um, so I use this and then I have, here's one of them. I have a ton of these, like lots of them because I, I plan to sell a ton. So when I buy, I'm obligated to keep working. That's, so that's how that I do it. What is that that you're talking about? Everybody knows what these are. <laughs> it's a white craft envelope from Value Mellers on eBay. They're the best deal I can find um, if you buy a bunch, like 500 at a time. So what I do is I have, you know, 30 of these or whatever ready to go in a file. When somebody comments sold and the number, I will write their name on here and stick it in here. And then when the next person buys something, I'll write their name and stick it in here. So eventually we end up with you know 20 different people I suggest putting it in alphabetical order by name I suggest putting their Facebook name because it's just quicker and easier and so then we end up with a box full of customers so I actually have this one these are people that are having me hold their orders so so we've got a couple people here so this is kind of what it looks like so after my sell the other day I had three full boxes of these and they were like in alphabetical order and they're all here, <laughs> full of jewelry that I, you know, in, or, uh, invoiced everybody. Okay, so far so good. Oh, so I need my box because I want to show them what I do. So this is going to take a while, but I think it's valuable information. Are you okay with Yeah, we have 22 this? viewers. Okay. The, oh, here's a question. Okay. Do you use the mailers and label them even for local people or only the people that you're shipping to? Local people too, because they stand up. So it's like a little file and I can pick the name out. So when my local friends come and buy their stuff, I, I get the envelope, dump it out on the couch, talk to them, show them what they bought and then give it to them in a bag to go home. And then I just scratch out their name and write another name like this. So that's when I scratch out the name and put somebody else. In fact, she paid me, so we're gonna send hers. Um, so anyway, reuse anything you can. Nobody cares what these look like. I have cute things I'm gonna show you that I mail them in, so it'll cover up all of the scratched up names. Our cat is meowing, can you guys hear her? <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so let's say our party starts. Make sure you write a good description that's attractive to people. Make sure you suggest people share to win. That's the best thing I've found so far is to say share to win because sharing is going to get you new people and your goal is to always get new people. My goal is to always get a new customer, an additional new customer every time I go live. And it's growing exponentially because if I get one new customer, they may bring in two friends. Those two new people may bring in two friends. So it's going to grow if you're consistent. Oh, and let me cover that really fast. Have a schedule. Go create a schedule for your lives or whatever and make sure people know what it is and stick to your schedule even if you do it and nobody shows up you can just make it a little shorter but stick to your schedule because your customers and friends will count on you and they get addicted and they enjoy it and they plan on taking the night off to watch you because it's fun it's 
It's like watching a TV show. You need to make a schedule. Um, there are two questions. Yeah. Um, so one is, um, will they be able to watch this video offline? Like, or, you know, this if, video. If they just chimed, if they yeah. just jumped in. Yeah, this video will record and be on YouTube permanently with all my other videos. Okay, and the other question is, do you do you use organza bags? No, I don't. I think it's a waste of money. They're so pretty. <laughs> but I even have a million of them. But I use them for my kids' jewelry. I like the organza bags, but they cost like 10 cents a piece, and that adds up too fast for me. So I don't cutesy up my orders, and I don't know what my customers think about it, but I haven't ever had anybody complain. Um, I do put a little surprise in there. I have fingernail stickers I send, or for a while I was sending candy bracelets with it. Just a little surprise, but I don't package it pretty. I just, it looks like that when they get it. Even the stuff that was opened, it looks like that again. So everybody does it different. That's why I wanted to say, because some of you guys use tissue paper, some of you guys use organza bags, which is sweet. I honestly, I don't check my jewelry when I send it. I'm trusting that the company did a good job. And if I have someone say that their jewelry came and it was broken or something, all I do is I give them a refund and a free piece of jewelry. So they win and my customer's happy and I don't need to put in all that extra work. Not everybody's going to agree with that, but that's how I like to do it. Um, and I, I don't... I don't know it's just like what it is it's five dollar jewelry so there are chances that'll happen but it's been working a great the way that my system is <laughs> okay so um so we go live you got to put a good description ask people to share to win remember you're not giving hostess rewards away so you have 10 percent of what you sell available that you didn't have to pay for be generous give away a lot um last week i have two tricks that work to get a lot of people Last week or two weeks ago, I did free shipping if we hit 50 viewers and it took a couple videos to get there. But when we did, oh, it was on fire. It was so fun and I sold a ton of stuff and all those people came back and I didn't do free shipping again. So you don't have to be obligated to give a sale every time. Just, I don't know. I just think it's more fun to be generous if you can. Um, the other trick is, this is how I started in November when I was totally new to this. I had been seeing the girls doing pearl parties and people watch those and I'm like, this is boring and they're watching these. So <laughs> I thought I could make this more fun by selling my jewelry. And I also saw the leggings girls selling their stuff. So I'm like, I'm going to try paparazzi. So um, what was I getting at? Oh, so to get a big crowd, my first video or like my second or third because my crowd was too small was a fundraiser. And my I gave away all my profits and it said... Join our Make-A-Wish fundraiser, Make-A-Wish Foundation fundraiser. 100% of the profits going to Make-A-Wish or whatever. And I had a lot of viewers because people know what that is. And being generous, people want to pay back and like help you and stuff. So a fundraiser is a really, really good backup plan to like grow your business. Okay. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but I love this. It's fun. Okay. So, so you, were saying, you start your party. Yeah, you're going to go live. So you write your description, you click go live. Hi everybody. Now, you should get started quickly because the people who are there on time don't want to wait around. There's only a couple things I do when I begin. I will share my own video, so I'll turn it on and then I'll find it on my computer and I'll share it onto my Facebook group, my business page, and my own page. <laughs> and then it'll pop up twice, so I share it to my own page. And sometimes I'll share it to my team so they can watch and learn. And then the other thing I do is I send out a text alert saying that I went live. And I used to send it with a link, but the system I'm using doesn't like links. And so I can just send it before. And there's still a flaw in that. I'm getting rejected by T-Mobile phone numbers randomly. So when I figure that out, I want to teach you guys how to do text alerts for free, which is awesome. Uh, but I can't teach you yet until I know it works because I don't want to give out bad information. So you're going live and you're like, let's go. Here's our jewelry. So I pull out the jewelry and I say, here is our, this is how I do it. Now everybody's different. Here's our first piece of jewelry. It's super cute. It's this really, really pretty necklace. And I loved it so much I bought a ton of them. Hmm. Now, now you kind of have to decide if you want to show it for very long. But what I like to do is let them see pretty fast 
tell them they have to comment the number if they want to buy it, and then I hold it the number. So I'm like, here's a necklace, it's blue and white, it's number 130. Let me tell you a little more about it so people can think about it and start commenting if they want, and then I tell them a little more about it. Now here's my favorite part. I have this cool thing, and you guys have seen me probably, called a macro lens, and I thought of this because of the pearl parties, forgot about it, and then I saw another paparazzi girl using one and so I, I went and got mine. I had already bought one. And what happens is when you get this, it's called a macro lens for a cell phone. Uh -oh. Spend, oh. oh, okay. It said reconnecting. Oh. Hope, it seems like we're back. We're okay. Back. <laughs> so don't spend very much on this. The, the lens screws off like this. And I couldn't figure out when it was brand new because they had the fisheye lens screwed onto the macro lens. So make sure you read carefully and only your macro lens is on here. Take off any extra lenses that are on there. And then I, I had a poor friend who didn't get it. Where she did didn't. You get it? This where is from, it? A, I got this on clearance at Gabe's. Oh, Gabe's your brother. Uh huh. Now, where would. Like Amazon. Would... Walmart has them by the cash register in some places. Five Below has them. They're kind of everywhere. They're made in China, they're cheap. You can get them on Wish for a dollar. Is there a label on it or anything? Uh -uh, they're all just no. generic. Okay. Um, we had me your phone for a sec. My poor friend was online and she could not, during her life, she couldn't figure out how to use it. She's like, eh, eh. so let me show you. Your camera is on the phone and you want your lens to be over the camera. So I'm gonna open it. It's like a clothespin and I'm just gonna put it right in front of the hole. Okay, that's it, that's how you do it. And you'll see when, you, when you're doing your video, you'll see if it's centered. It's, it's quick, it's easy. So you do that and this is gonna make you blurry but when you put something up to it, I'll be like, here's the earrings close up. You have to put it really close, like a half inch close. And it looks pretty neat, but don't do it for very long because some people get headaches because it's blurry and close up. But they love it because they it's like you're touching it. It's like you're there in real life and that's what we want. So I might need your phone again later. So buy one of these. You need to buy this as part of your equipment, I forgot to say. Okay, so you're like, who wants this? The other thing you need to do is tell them whatever you see, like whatever I see, goes. It doesn't matter what you see because we have learned that not everybody's the same. Sometimes it shows your own comment first if you're wherever you are. Sometimes it records it in a different order, I found out. So you just go by whatever you see in that moment and make sure that you tell your customers to hear you verify they got it. So I'll be like, Yay, Jason got 130. Who else wants one? Um, Barbara got 130. Yay. So make sure they hear you verify that they got it. Sometimes comments don't go through. Facebook's not perfect. The internet's not perfect. So make sure they hear you. Um, now, if I sell them all, we're done. If I sell this last one, I'll say I sold four, and I sell this last one, I can um, take the number off, put it in my used numbers pile, and put this in... And I, you know, I put them in their bag. So, okay, Jason bought one, yay. So I just set it in her ba his bag like that. You know, Barbara bought one, yay, and I put it in hers. And on this last one, I just leave it in the baggie. I'll repackage it later because I don't want to waste my customer's time. So I just put this whole baggie in there because I know it's ready to be packaged. Does that make sense? Now, if it doesn't sell, if it doesn't all sell, I leave it like this still. Let's say we sold two of them. Can't wait to sell this deck. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> Let's say it it doesn't all sell, and I have three left. Okay, I'm gonna have, and I have my number still. Keep the number because somebody might comment in three minutes saying they want this. Like they're like, oh, I think I do want it. So keep your number where you can see it, like through the plastic. And that's why my numbers are paper. Sometimes I throw these away by accident. No, nobody cares. So I'm gonna have a done box. Like I'm done with Facebook Live and it's gonna turn into my album. This is gonna end up on my group album to sell to somebody else because not everybody will watch live, not everybody's gonna catch it. So I have a new box of this box right here of just live <laughs> stuff. <laughs> that, and so you want an empty box so you can stack them up. Yeah, and yeah. I have a lot of leftovers. Oh, here's a box right here. <clears throat> Well, this is a box of singles. It's on the floor. And you can see the, the baggies in there and the... You know what? I need to explain there, about that. Will you hand it to me? Yeah. You can just 
use one hand for a second. Oh, hand the box to you? Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me just, uh, Don't turn it off by accident. Yeah. <laughs> these tiny slender buttons on here. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Yeah. So something, see this is ready. This is, this is. Hang on, just a moment, before you get into that. Yeah. There was a question earlier, and I can't remember if you mentioned anything okay. about it. It was um, the texting service that you use. Is it <coughs> is it by fee or? or oh, or my texting, fee? my texting <coughs> uses Google Forms and Gmail. There's a <coughs> trick where you can text people through email for free, and that's what I use. That's why I have to figure it out because it's kind of like a hack. I have to figure out why T-Mobile's rejecting them, um, and it's totally free. That's my favorite. Um, Remind.com is free, but it's made for teachers, so I would rather use mine if I can make it work. So, the other thing you can do is sign up for one and pay for it. I just want to do stuff for free. <laughs> so, so you can do any of the above. Um, is that the only question? There was one about baggy setup, but I, I, you went over that, so maybe okay. she just needs to go back and watch it again. Okay, maybe, yeah. Um, okay, so this is... Sorry, if you had a... Um, let me see who that was. Uh, Alexis, yeah. If you if you just jumped in, Alexis, um, maybe go back and watch that again. But if there if there's another question about it, something more specific, just go ahead and uh, you know comment again and ask us what the, what that question is. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, let me know. And that's a directional micro. You do not need a microphone, by the way, unless you have a crappy phone like I did, which was my um, LG10 had a really bad microphone, and so I would use my headphones that came with it for free that has a little mic on it and it was great um my galaxy does not need a mic iphones don't need a mic i bought a directional mic for my youtube videos that's a different scenario because i just want it to sound all warm <laughs> and beautiful <laughs> yeah she's using it now Let yeah it go. yeah so you don't need a mic um so these are i actually prepared these to show on tuesday so they're like baggies full of duplicates there's three pairs of earrings in here three or four bracelets in here one of them's open and so on um oh so what i've been doing is i can't afford to buy multiples of everything and i don't always have multiples of everything so i've been alternating i'll do like a multiple and then a single and a multiple and a single until i kind of build up my sales because you you don't want to like waste time on singles if you don't have to but you're going to have singles. So just maybe alternate them and mix them in there. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah, sometimes when you put singles on there, you get a lot of people that want them. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's why I started buying multiples because my friends would fight over them and I just don't like that. So it just, it's a win-win to buy multiples if you can. Okay. Um, so you're selling stuff and it doesn't sell. You stack it up in your box. You put up your things as they sell. And then I always just kind of gauge whether I should stop or not. My max is three hours. I was doing two hours for a long time, but then I had a big audience, and so I kept going. And you can ask them, do you want to keep going and whatever. Once it starts dying a little, just end it because you don't want to, like, be desperate looking. So, Okay, <laughs> um, now on to the next step. Um, <clears throat> so she did come back with the question that was more specific. It's okay. why do you put... This here. Okay, why do you put the bags from paparazzi in a Ziploc bag? Oh, and a Ziploc bag all together. I think that's. Oh. Go, go ahead. Yeah, just, just to review. One, one more time. Yeah. yeah, just to review. I like to recycle and use paparazzi stuff. So here's an example. There's three in here. So I have an open one with the bag and these two. I just don't want to. Like, I have baggies. For like my earrings that I threw away the bags a long time ago, I have them if I need them, but I want to reuse stuff so I don't have to pay for it and throw it in the garbage. So <clears throat> I do put, it because it's what it came in. Yeah, and you put all the same items in one bag with the number. Uh-huh. Right. Yep. Right. So this is all one item. So hopefully that answered your question. That's just my style. You don't have to do it that way. I know some girls, they do this. This is another quick technique. And I did this the other day. These are all single necklaces. Oh, that's the paper clip. I'm glad, I'm glad she asked. I only have singles of all of these necklaces. So what I do is I will try to sell it. And if it doesn't sell, I'll paper clip the number on it and hang it up. So this is stuff from the other day that I need to put in an um, album. But 
this is not in baggies because I don't really need a baggie for this, but I hope that, does that make sense to you, Jason? Well, <clears throat> I think, I think the thing to stress, and I hope you can hear me, <clears throat> gang, um, is that, um, all the items, all the same, so she's got five of the same necklace, they all go into one Ziploc baggie with a number, and she opens up one item that's in the original paparazzi packaging so that she doesn't have to <coughs> open it while she's on her live and it goes crinkle, crinkle, crunch, crunch. Yeah. Because it makes a lot of noise. So I'd be like, here's the next piece, yeah. and I just pull it right out. So, so Check think it, of it out. Think of that, of that Ziploc, so of, that, of that baggie, as more like a, as a folder for that one item. Yeah. And Andrea uses boxes. Um, I think Mandy uses boxes. Boxes work, but I didn't want to buy boxes. I, I just have too many things. And so I was trying to think of cheap and free. Um, you also might want to get your bus that came with your kit to hold stuff up. I often put stuff on myself just to show them. I'll be like, it looks like this. It's about, it's about that long. Or, you know, you can put it on and show them. So, and I always hold the earrings up. This is how big they're going to look. You know, just that part's fun. You'll figure it out. Make sure you are smiling. Make sure you're happy and friendly. Make sure you don't look like you hate this. Make sure you um, answer questions and interact. You don't always have to be like, but you just want to make sure you're yourself, just like you would be if you were at a party, doing a home party. <clears throat> okay. Is it hard to file the things while selling? So I guess once you sell oh, something. Through here, through the, through the names, I'm guessing that's what she's wondering. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> doing it alone takes longer, but it's not that hard I mean I've done it a million times so I'll put it right here next to me so let's say Jason just bought something and I'm like hold on Jason let me make you an envelope so all right Jason sh -sh -sh. okay I'm putting it in your envelope and then I hurry and put it in all right let's do our next thing and then I do it so this works I tried the shoe holders for names if you want to look over there but they oh, run out like black fabric thing. yeah like it doesn't around. hold enough stuff um, use. No, well, a lot of people use <laughs> oh, them. Oh, they do? <laughs> oh, I'm bad. A lot of people use them. I tried that, and it just didn't work for me. It was too... And some people prepare their jewelry in those, but I just like it right there, ready to go. And I like to empty a box, and I'll be like, I showed everything, and then I can throw it across the room because I've had success. I don't know. And there's another question. <clears throat> do you put or post online somewhere what your inventory you have if it doesn't sell on the live video. That's the next question. That's the next like thing I'm going to show you. So here's what I do. So let's say I'm done for the night. I'm done for the night. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> one other thing before we get to that one then. Okay. How long do you suggest staying live if no one is watching? Oh, if you're new, I would maybe 30 minutes or an hour. Pretend people are watching because when you're new... People probably aren't going to watch because they don't know what the heck you're doing. Just pretend that they are there. They don't They don't know that you maybe can see other comments. Um, and just pretend that it's normal and stuff. And a lot of people are going to re-watch your videos. So I keep looking at the microphone. <laughs> yeah. So um, <clears throat> in the beginning, you're going to want to like fake it. Not fake it, but like act like it's normal, that it's quiet. And then... As you set your schedule and keep doing it at the same time every week, and sharing. you and sharing, yeah, you're going to get a bigger audience and you can eventually transition over to stopping when you want to stop instead of like just kind of showing your jewelry because you're brand new. So I did that. I just started the, doing the lives in November and I did events like crazy for five years and it was really fun, but this is just where it's going. And so I wanted to do live so I could teach my team. And so my first couple lives were really dead, but that's when I did the fundraiser and it got a lot of people on and it wasn't so weird. And then if they're on last time, Facebook's going to help them see it again and stuff. So quietly do it for like, I'd say 30 minutes to an hour. And then you can transition over to really having an audience and stopping when you need to stop. Okay. Let me see if there's more questions about... <clears throat> That, that go on before you actually end the live. Okay. Um, okay. This is a pegboard question, but there's a, the, so 
pegboards, I suppose. You use whatever works for you. I think that has to do with the multiple items. Lisa uses baggies. Yeah, some mm-hmm. people use pegboards. That's great. I don't have the space for it. Yeah. I don't even use these. These are just my backdrop to look like I'm awesome. Right. I don't even sell off those. I sell from the baggies. So I think it's I- ideally pegboards would be great. That's why you could walk around the room and stand up, but I don't have the space for that. Um, okay, so I don't know how my battery is, so I probably should kind of move on. Okay. Um, Maybe, uh, <coughs> well, we're 19%. Um, okay, we started at 48, so I need yeah. to hurry a little. Um, this is Tara Rosen. This is, that was the question. Um, you know what, Tara, why don't you, um, you can send a message, just PM Lisa about your, your lives, and then she can work with you offline, I guess, about getting your, your shows to, to take off, because oh. she's having some challenges there. Do a fundraiser. No, that's my answer. My answer is to do a fundraiser okay. and donate 100%. You can afford it. 100% is still your, can pay for your jewelry. And you can even take off the fee for PayPal's and tax and all that if you need to. Because 100% is still your extra money. And being generous makes other people want to be generous. That That's my answer. That's what I tell my team to do is to do a fundraiser to pick up your business. Okay. So the question of things that don't sell. Yeah. Okay. So what we do, I'm going to have to be a little quicker because of the battery. Okay. What I do is when I'm done, I end up with a box of, oh no, they didn't sell. So I tell everybody that I'm going to post an album the next day in my VIP group. Please join my VIP group. So I want to get everybody over there because your goal for live is to get people in your group and sell them to there, sell them there. So, cause you can go live in your VIP group or your per- I go live on my personal page to try to find new people. But eventually I want to go in my VIP group and go live sometimes to give them exclusive access and stuff. So you want people to join your group. And then what I do is I tell them I'm gonna post everything that didn't sell and some surprise stuff. You need to post additional items so they don't think they're getting um, leftovers. You don't want them to think they're getting leftovers. So you can just mix them up. So what I'll do is I will, um, have a bunch that I didn't have time to show and I'll have a bunch that I did show and I may grab some from my inventory and mix it all up so that I have a bunch of stuff. I post a lot. I've been posting like a hundred pieces on my album, so, but it you can do whatever you want. So what I do is I take pictures of these. I have a video of how to take pictures, but I'll review super fast. The video is on my YouTube of how to take pictures. What I do is I take it in the daytime with the windows open and the flash turned off. That's the trick. Like your blinds open. You don't have to open your windows, but open the blinds so you have daylight. And if you're not close to a window, go close to a window because the natural light with no flash is going to give you your best color. And then I get a piece of neutral scrapbook paper and I lay it on there. And then when you take the picture, you're going to be pretty close, like like this, because you want it to fill up your frame, and yeah. then you take it without flush. Yeah, that pretty close like that. Yep, that's it. So I use a tripod when I take pictures as well. That's actually when I use this one. I hook it to a chair so my camera can face like low, like down, and um, and then I just take as many as I can. It takes me a while. It'll take me like an hour or two to take a hundred pictures. And then a trick that I do is when I have multiples, like this one I have, I don't know, like there's seven or something, I'll just take seven pictures in a row because then I'll remember that there's seven and then when I upload them, I'll just delete those extra six and I'll write seven available. Hmm. So does that make sense? That's pretty clever. Thanks. (laughs) Okay, so I get my customers to shop for my album and then when your album is finished, you need to share it everywhere. So the next morning I will share the album link on the video comments. Um, I will go through and change my video to say video is closed. Now shop from my album. Here is the link. I don't want to watch videos again. I've done it and it isn't fun. So my goal is to only sell from live when it's actually live and then to guide people to my group. And I tell people that during the live, I'm like, the albums are cool because they're super quick. So there's two ways to shop. You can go live or you can shop from the albums. Um, last week, 
not last week, the, the week before I went to Leadership Summit, I only went live once on Tuesday night and I sold 200 pieces. And then on the albums on Wednesday, I sold 75 more pieces. So that's a lot of pieces for not a lot of effort. I wouldn't say not a lot of work because there's some busy work. There's some prepping, you're going live, and then you're invoicing and shipping. So what I do is my, create a schedule, and I have my schedule posted in my VIP group as the cover photo. I go live on Tuesday and Thursday. I post albums on Wednesday and Friday. I invoice on Saturday. I was invoicing Friday night, and it wasn't, it was too soon. Like, I wanted to not work. So, invoice on Saturday for me, and then I say pay by Monday, and I ship them on Monday. So, today's Sunday, and if you can see, I have all these shipments that have to be sent Monday. These are all the people that I invoiced, and I think maybe like 80% of them have paid so far, which is so cool. Invoicing, you can learn how to invoice if you look at a YouTube video through PayPal. I like to use PayPal to invoice because PayPal has an automatic shipping label creator and it pays the post office and everything like it's automated. So I would totally use PayPal. You can use Square if you have to, but I would only go that route if you can't get PayPal um, because you don't have a shipping connection. Also if you ship through PayPal, they give you bulk rate. Don't go to the post office. I challenge you to sell and ship from your house. And you can just leave it all for the postman person to pick it up. I promise you. Our postman sometimes has to get out of the vehicle, walk around, <laughs> and take four bags, grocery bags, envelopes, <laughs> off the, hanging off the mailbox. Yeah, I hang them in grocery bags. Yeah, yeah it's pretty bad. If you, if you don't have that option, um, I guess drop them in a public mailbox. Yeah, yeah, whatever. And you can go to the post office if you need help. But you will save more money if you print and pay at home. Um, I use... Just, I don't have a label maker, but I bought those pieces of paper that have two labels on them. I use those. I used to tape the labels on, but I was paying a lot for tape. So I figured I'll just do the labels. It's quicker. Um, let me show you how I package. These are cute. If you have specific questions about those labels and where to get them, probably like Office Max or anything like that. Nope. Nope. Oh, Value oh, mailers. Oh, yeah, oh. don't ask him. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Value mailers has them. For the cheapest, I, I know how to shop online. I've been doing, I've been working for internet stuff forever, and Value Millers has the best price if you buy a thousand at a time. Okay. You'll so, sell a thousand yeah. to a thousand people because you got to set your goals high. I put all of my stuff <laughs> in cute PVC envelopes. Yes, I could send these plain, but that's not fun. So I just pop this, it fits perfectly. I have a ship, I have a video about this too on my YouTube. But these fit right inside here. And you don't even have to seal the white one, you just seal that, bloom, done. And then I put the label on there. You don't have to reinforce the label, it, it adheres after like a minute permanently. Um, I don't do anything except when I package my stuff. Oh, by the way, if you, I hate invoicing. I think it's a time consuming thing. We check my battery power. You're pretty good. You're 14%. Oh, and Don good. Don wants to know if you're ordering like the party guy. Oh, thanks, Don. <laughs> Is that almost midnight? Yeah, it's about 1135. Yes, thank you, Don. Message me if you need to talk <laughs> what, what, size so nice. your, what size are your envelopes you're gonna have to look at the video because i don't remember but the video info says exactly what the names of these are and where do you get these value mailers on ebay okay. everything i get is from value mailers they have the best pricing i think um so what i do is i just i just put it all in here the only thing i wrap special is a cuff or a bracelet like those hard bracelets with a stone on them because I don't want it to pop off. Those are the only thing I wrap in like foam or bubble wrap in addition to this, but I put it all in here. I personally charge three bucks a piece flat because I want my customers to not be scared to buy one piece at a time. Also, they might have the mindset of, I'm gonna put in as much as I can. And if your package is over one pound, you need to use a flat rate bubble envelope. When you say three bucks a piece, three bucks per item? Flat. Or? No. Oh, three dollars 
per envelope? Three dollars per order, yeah. Three okay, three dollars per order. Yeah. All right. These, you cannot get, Don told me about these. You can't get these at the post office, but you can order them online for free. And they hold a lot. I've, I've shoved like 20 pieces in here before. And if, it, if it's more than that, put it in a box and mail it because they bought a ton of stuff from you. It's worth it to pay the difference, I think. That's my opinion. Okay. Um, what else was I going to say? Seems like three dollars for shipping for no matter what's yep. no matter what you're shipping. Yep, no matter what I'm shipping. Oh, that's just, just me. Not everybody does that. Okay. Especially if you're new and you don't dare to cover that cost. You don't have to. Do it however you want. Um, oh, what I put in the package. So I'll put all their jewelry in here. Currently, I'm putting a uh, here's one. I'm putting a business card. It says thank you with their name and then I put a, a gift. So this are fingernail stickers and I put a little sticker and I put it in there because it shows a personal touch. Do whatever you want to show personal touch. If you want to wrap with tissue paper, that's enough. Or I bought some charms and I wrote a little poem. I'm going to start sending those out because charms are like three cents piece and they're fun. It's just fun to get a surprise. Um, some of you guys mail chocolates in your stuff. Some of you will put a little bookmark, just a little gift saying, you know, indicating that you're thankful that they bought from you. Um, even these, I've had compliments on these because they're pretty and it just makes it more exciting to get a package in the mail if it's pretty. Um, I think, is there anything else? Um, I allow my friends to hold their orders to the next week if they want because, so like if they don't pay me, if like 20, these 20% 20 don't pay me, I'm just going to wait and not bug them until the next Friday. And then I can be more stern and say, I'm putting your stuff back if you don't pay me. But I'm not going to like worry about that every day and bug them and bug them and bug them. Because for me, it's it's not worth it. Um, oh, the other thing I was going to say is I don't like to do invoicing. So I have set up a website called glitterpay.com. You guys are all welcome to use it. It's free. And all it is is a PayPal button host. So you can say, this is how I do it. This is what I did last night. And I sent it to, there were like 60 people. I said, you bought three items. Go pay at glitterpay.com slash Lisa. Thank you so much. If you have any trouble, let me know and I'll send you an invoice. That's all I did. So I send them that message and then I sent it to like 60 people. And all night I got all these emails. You received money. You received money. You received money. So I didn't have to do the step of the invoicing. Um, glitter pay only goes up to 10 items though. So I did have to invoice a few people, but I love it. I hate invoicing just because it's an extra step that I don't think should be necessary. Um, any other questions? I kind of hurried the last, the first part was the most important. I don't see any others. Okay. And we're at 58 minutes. That's perfect. That's like an hour. That's yeah, a lot of, a lot of folks said... Who had questions, got them answered, and okay. said thanks. You're welcome. Yay. Mm. So this will be recorded forever. If you guys want to share it to your teams, that's fine. Um, I hope my, my girls are watching so they can learn and at least be less scared of going live because it's fun. Something that I've learned from going live is that it's very... I don't know if I would say it's addicting, but it's like meeting a friend. So the first time you're like oh, hi, I'm going to do this. And the next time you're like, hi, guys. And then by now I'm like, okay, let's sell jewelry, you know, because you get to know them, like your audience is like your friend. It's kind of weird that that happens, but it's enjoyable. I really like it. And um, some people do theme nights. Some people do trivia nights. Some people do let's it's magic couples nights and they'll sell pairs. There's a whole bunch of cute ideas to make it a little more fun. Have your kids come on and sell, you know, have them help you. My husband helps me a lot now and I love it. And um, be real about it. Don't try to, like I try to look nice. The reason I'm doing the video today is because I got ready. And try to look nice, but you don't have to be fake. You don't have to try to be perfect like an actress. No one's going to believe you. And it's also uncomfortable. So you want to just be yourself. Because that's who's going to be attracted to you is people who like who you are. So I can't think of anything else that I need to say. Is there anything else?
I have supplies next to me. Have a notebook and paper in case you need to make notes. Like somebody might say, do you have that in silver? And if you want to, you can say, I'll, I'll check and let you know. Or you could say, not tonight, sorry. You know, depends on how strict you want to be. Um, that's kind of it. I'm just looking at all my stuff here. Um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Yay. I've been wanting to do this forever, and I saw a couple girls teaching, and so I just wanted to show you my own way. And you can pick up the pieces that you like the best from each person and then go at it and you're going to do well. And corporate is encouraging lives because they work. Like they're watching it explode. And so you want to jump on that bandwagon and don't let us leave you behind because it's going somewhere for sure. So if you have never sold paparazzi and if you're new to this and you want to sell it and have me be your sponsor, I love to sign you up. Just message me and... We'll connect and talk on the phone and I'll answer all your questions and we'll go from there. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for holding my phone for an hour, Jason. You're welcome. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Oh, yay. You, you too. <laughs> Bye, guys.